back to my kitchen I've been expecting you um, today we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how I prepare um, my chicken roll-ups and today I'll be adding in a little bit of asparagus and some provolone cheese so first things first what we're gonna do is go ahead and thin out our chicken I don't have a meat tenderizer or a meat pounder so I'm just gonna go ahead and use um, my rolling pin and it'll work just the same um, you can kind of improvise um, depending upon what it is that you have in your home um, well in your kitchen as well I'm gonna use my uh, rolling pin and just kind of start from the middle and just kind of of, um, pound the meat out um, towards the, the edges um, that's where the thickest parts of the meat is so I'm gonna start from the thinnest part which will be about the ends or the middle the bottom of the middle and just kind of work my way towards the outside as you can see and the reason for the plastic is to just kind of protect it from um, the wood rolling pin I really don't want to get all the juices from it on it so I just covered it up and that's going to help with the splattering as well so I'll show you how I do one more and you don't have to use the plastic if you don't want to but I just use it um, just as a precautionary measure um, and so you just want to make sure you get it nice and thin as you can see I didn't pretty really cut off any of the fat from it and I'll tell you about that later that's going to help out with a lot of the moisture so that my chicken breast doesn't dry out while it's cooking in my oven okay so now that we've got that um, pretty much going I'm gonna go ahead and just finish showing you guys how I did this one and then we'll move on to the next step which would be uh, preparing our asparagus so I'm just gonna go ahead and sit this over to the side and let it rest for later alright so now we're gonna go ahead and prep our asparagus and I'm gonna show you guys how to determine um, where you need to cut um, as far as getting the bottom off of the asparagus so this is pretty long but um, you want to get it right at the ripest part so you're just going to snap it like so um, so this is the good part this is the part that you want so you're going to line that up with the rest of the asparagus um, and this will let you know where you should cut um, the reason for cutting off the bottom is because a lot of times that part is not as ripe it's, it's kind of hard and chewy and doesn't cook up really well and won't taste good in your dishes so this is good to go and I've already rinsed this off and let it dry so I'm just going to take the rubber bands off and I have some boiling water prepared. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in and blanch them. Now I'm going to, only going to cook these for about five minutes. Um, I'm going to add a little salt just to uh, get a little taste. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop it over in my ice water bath. And this is to kind of stop the cooking process. I'm going to kind of let that hang out until I'm ready for it. Okay, so now that everything's prepped, I'm going to go ahead and season my chicken. Add in my provolone cheese. And you can use mozzarella. Um, or in you know whatever kind of cheese you can you even use a cheddar if you prefer that I'm gonna go ahead and add in my asparagus you can use as little or as much as you want you can also alternate these ingredients you could use uh, peppers like I say you could use a mozzarella cheese um, anything that you like broccoli you can add that um, into these wraps and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll that up and you want to make sure you get a good grip so as you can see, I'm making sure this is pretty tight. And these are pretty thick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and olive, put some little olive oil in the bottom of my pan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let those sit in there like that. Um, so again, just going to season it up. And what I'm using to season is just a little house um, seasoning that I use. Um, well, I kind of concocted. And it's just a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So again, I'm going to add a little bit more cheese this time because I have a, a lot to spare. So provolone down, I'm going to add a little bit of asparagus. Um, and, and like I said, you can add as much or, or as little as you want. Give it a tight roll and go ahead and sit that over in the pan. And the reason why is I put down the um, olive oil is just so it won't stick because um, I'm going to cook it on really high heat. So I am going to do just one more 
and then I'll show you guys the finished result. So this is what it looks like after you're finished. I added a little bit of provolone cheese on the top for my hubby just because I had some left over. Those are going in the oven on 450. All right, so while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and prep my sides. Tonight we're just going to have some red potatoes, some roasted red potatoes um, to go along with. So I'm just, I've um, quartered these actually. They were pretty big and I'm going to use my um, Perfect Pinch vegetable season. I really like this. So I'm just going to uh, put a generous amount on there and just kind of roll it around as you can see in this perfect pinch is I think it's by McCormick so you can get it at your local grocery store alrighty so then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil over just for browning purposes and then that's ready to go in the oven along with your roll-ups and after about 45 minutes this is your finished result see this is pretty easy and this is you know like i said another quick weeknight meal because you're busy dinner does not have to be boring and it's delicious and healthy so i hope you enjoy it